Mighty God. Yes, you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. In a mighty God. Awesome in this place. Papa Father, yeah, 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 yeah. You are worthy of our praise. To you all I see. Awesome in this place, mighty God. I'm a worshiping. Mira Badalia, Lambarisa, Embalegala, Migali Bradaha, Enagista Hadu, E Baba, Ali Bragada Hayamba, Mimala. Yes, we worship you. Awesome in the sweet Abba Father. Yeah, worthy of our praise, you are hard to use. Awesome in the space, mighty God, Elohim, Elohim, Father, we love you, Jehovah, you are the Lord. Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah, you are the Lord. Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah, you are the Lord. Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah, you are Lord. Elohim, Father, we exalt your name, Elohim, Jehovah, you are the Lord. Elohim. Hallelujah, Jehovah, you are the Lord. Hallelujah, El Shaddai, Jehovah Shammah, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Elohim Jehovah, you are the Lord. I honor you, Lord. Why don't you honor him? I honor you, my God. Yes, I honor you, Lord. Today, and I'm my Baba, I honor you, Lord. Yes, I honor you, Lord. I honor you, Lord, today. I worship you, I worship you, my God, for your goodness and your mercy. I worship you, Lord, today. I worship you, Lord. Yes, I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord, today. Excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent, how excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name, O Lord. 
Excellent is your name. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your name. Oh Lord. Excellent is your name, O oh Lord. Worship him. Excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord. Emmanuel, <laughs> yes, Lord, Emmanuel, oh, my daddy, your name is called, you're my savior, my teacher, my helper, Emmanuel, ever present God, you are God. Yes, you are God with us, revealed in us. You dwell in us, you live in us. Your name is come. Thanks, we give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed, our souls are found rest. Oh Lord, we give you thanks. Brethren, we are praising God. We are not wasting time. We are not trying to fill up time. We are actually doing what He made us for. Please, I want you to stop anything you are doing, if you can, and just worship the King of Kings. He deserves all the praise and all the glory. Just give Him praise. Adore Him. Worship Him. Adore Him. Adore Him. Adore Him. Adore Him. Adore Him for Jesus is Lord. For there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus who walk in the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Adore Him. Adore Him. Adore Him for Jesus is Lord. For there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus who walk in the Spirit of God. Say, give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp. I pray. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Keep me burning till the brand new day. Come on, turn me to pray. I say, Lord, I worship you. I give you praise. Tonight, I exalt your name. I'm asking, Lord, that you fill me with fresh oil. Fill me with fresh oil. Fill me with fresh oil. Father, Lord, I'm asking for a renewal. I'm asking for consecration. I'm asking for a fire that the Lord change me permanently. Oh, give me oil in my lamp. Keep me born until the break of day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Our call to worship tonight is... Um, the hymn, Draw Me Nearer, or uh, other titles of the same hymn says, I'm Thine, O Lord. So we're going to sing that um, hymn as we continue with our fast. This is day two. May the Lord renew you. May you be rejuvenated. May you be revived in the presence of the Almighty God. For all those who are discouraged, may the Almighty God infuse you with the spirit of courage. May you be renewed in faith in the name of Jesus. For those who feel lost, may you be found. I say, may you be grounded and established in faith in the name of Jesus. For those who are sick, I declare healing in the name of Jesus, because healing is the children's bread. Get ready for a prophetic time in God's presence tonight is our second day of our end of year fast in the Imatro prayer ministry. I'm so excited. There's so many great things that God wants to reveal to us this season, and I encourage you to position yourself Tonight we are going to um, sing the worship song, and I'll tell you the slight change in plan that we have, just to accommodate everybody and to continue in the in this fast, so that we have the proper 
things in place and the revelation that we need to finish strong. Amen. Praise God. So let's sing our hymn. I already shared it on WhatsApp. If you want to receive update from us as a ministry, please send us an email. Nehemiah, just like in the Bible, Nehemiah Troop, T-R-O-O-P, at gmail.com. Send us a message and we we'll add you to the um, update list. We need your telephone number and your name to add you. Some people send the email, they forget to put their name and telephone number. Praise the Lord. So please, let's sing the hymn together in worship. <clears throat> One, two, go. I am thine, O Lord. I have heard thy voice. And it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, Nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding sign. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look on with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Draw me near, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou art done. Draw me. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding sun. Oh, the pure delight of a single hour that before thy throne I stand. When I kneel in prayer and with thee, my God, I commune as friend with friend. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou art done. Draw me, draw me nearer. Nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding sign. There are depths of love that I yet may know, and be face to face I see. There are heights of joy that I yet Message, yeah, I rest in peace with thee. Draw me nearer, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou art died. Draw me, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord. To thy precious beating Amen. Let's begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Magada Helado Shandalaba. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Egade Brahalado Shaketalianda. 
Zimbaga de Halaba, Jambaga de Heledu, Sakata Bregade. Oh, come on, build up yourself in the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, praying in the Holy Ghost. E Gagada Balada. The Bible said we don't know how to express ourselves, we don't know how to articulate words sometimes, words fail us. The Bible said we don't know how to pray specifically according to the will of the Father. Ah, the Spirit helps us to make these inter- intercessions, He helps us to pray according to the specificity of God's ordained plan for our life, His only plan. <laughs> He told Jeremiah, he said, I ordained you. He said, I planned your life. I have a holy plan for your existence. Why don't you pray right now and say, Lord, help me. Oh, Father, we exalt your name for the angels ministering to us during this past and ministry to us, strengthening us, empowering us, revealing secrets to us. I see the angels of the Almighty God giving books to specific people. Books as you position yourself. Books of destiny. They are delivering it into your hand. Scrolls. Receive the scrolls of destiny. Receive the books of destiny. Mm. As we are fasting and you refuse to, to eat physical food, the angels are giving you spiritual food. They are giving you manna in form of books. They are putting it in your mouth like John, like Ezekiel. Father, we give you praise for a life-changing encounter on this altar. We immerse ourselves in the river of life. We swim in the river of revelation of your word, of your mystery. Oh, we swim in the rivers of your joy, the world spring of mercy. We don't withdraw with joy. Oh, Father, for everyone who is sick. Father, for everyone who is weak. Thank you, Father, for the healing stream. You step out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Because so alaga ala braga da lianda se pekete la braga la braga da lianda se pekete Father, we worship you. Agise bregeto proko sokoto. Le brega sikete lianda sepeke sokoto lianda saprakasha. There's somebody I see you. You have a lump on the right side of your neck. You have a, a lump. I command that lump to disappear right now. Fire of God, burn it off in Jesus' name. Egele bragada palaga. That lump on the right side of your neck is gone. In the name of Jesus, you are healed by the powerful blood of Yeshua, the one who died on the cross of Calvary. The full proof of God's love to humanity. The Bible says, What is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you remember him? Oh, Father, we give you praise, O oh God. For the evidence of your love to mankind. Thank you, Lord, for the son of your love. Thank you, Lord, for your only begotten son, the one who died for us on the cross of Calvary. He was bruised for our iniquity, was wounded for our transgression, the chastisement our need to obtain our perfect peace, was laid upon him with his stripes. We are healed. Father, we give you prayer for healing on this altar. Psychological healing, receive it. Emotional healing, receive it. Marital healing, receive it. Destiny healing, professional healing. Healing in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we worship you, O oh God. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Father, we exalt your name. There's a river that makes glad the, the city of God. You see, there's a river right now. I see a river. It's billowing like fire. The Almighty God is consecrating men and women. The river is flowing, but it's billowing like fire. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. It's like a river. It's a river of fire. The river of life. It's glistening ah, like fire. Glistening like fire. To refine us as gold. Oh, Father, we exalt your name for the river of fire. We position ourselves for your consecration and your cleansing, O oh God. Oh, the Bible says that all your billows are over me. Yes, Lord, we give you praise for the billows of fire, ah, the waters of fire. Take all the praise and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Can, can you imagine the waters of fire? That can only be God. He's the only one that can make a river flow like fire. Oh, Father, we exalt your name. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I love it when we move in the prophetic. 
every time I'm not under pressure, it's easier for me to move in the prophetic, believe me. But when I'm under pressure, when I'm comfortable, it's very hard to flow in the spirit. I believe that we're enjoying our fast. This is day two. I refuse to be stressed out by this fast. I refuse to be afraid. I refuse to dread it. It's 30 days. I've never heard it before. But I want us to go with the flow. I encourage you, if you've never fasted before for an extended period of time, there's always a first time. I'm encouraging you. That was the first time I did a 40-day fast on my own. By day 10, I was fainting. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, I want to do this fast. I want to finish it. I don't know the reason why I did that fast then. But I get it now. It was time for me to be set apart for ministry then, but I didn't know. I said, Lord, I need to do this fast in 2010. I started the 40-day fast, and by day 10, I was weak and tired. I couldn't. My body refused to cooperate with me. And then the Lord first started taking the communion. That's when I got the revelation of the communion. I kid you not, I did not read it from any book. <clears throat> the Lord told me, start taking the communion. And from that day onward, till I finished that 40 day fast in 2010, the Lord renewed my strength every day. Every time I fast, then, since then, I always take the communion. It renews my strength. It's a mystery. And so tonight, I encourage you get bread, get wine. If you don't have um, communion elements, you can order it online. You can get it from most of the grocery stores around. You can get it from Amazon. I got mine from Amazon. You can also get it from Lightweight.com, any Christian bookstore. Go and get yours. Go to your, uh, your church store. Um, near you get get the pack of communion but my communion element on the top i don't know the kind you you have in your country but in the united states of america i think they import everything from china now and the thing on top of it looks like those paper plates that we use at picnics is very terrible and so i stopped eating it and so i have the wafer that i bought it's also a communion wafer you just order it you can order the hard one or the soft one it comes separate and so that's what i use for my communion grab your bread and if you can make your own at home you can use it with, you can make tortillas you can use unleavened bread you can use regular bread just make sure you have bread and then grab wine right jesus christ used edible bread and then grab wine wine not non-alcoholic wine please grab your wine your grape juice preferably grape juice because some people are wondering how do i do the communion at home because you only take it in church this is a mystery that the lord showed us from acts of apostles chapter 2 we're breaking bread from house to house it's something that we should do all the time according to first corinthians 11 23 to 27 or thereabouts you are supposed to be eating the bread jesus christ said unless you eat my flesh and you drink my blood he said you have no part in me he said you cannot have eternal life so you is our is ours is our is our secret is our mystery and because of time i want us to get ready to pray get your communion we're going to spend 30 minutes here we're going to stop at 6 30 and come back at midnight why because just like every one of you i have family too i have to do pick up and drop off and all the other things and so it's eat into my preparation time and you know we've done Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah before, is volume of 52 chapters. We've done Revelation before, 22 chapters. And doing a comparative study between the two, that means I have to extract the important and valuable revelations. And it's taking me time to dig through that pile. So I don't come and um, bombard you. I have to, you know, glean properly. And so it's, it's taking me time and I'm preparing daily. It's not as if I have a note somewhere that I'm, I'm, I'm picking into. I'm not buying the salmon from salmon.com. This is fresh oil, fresh, fresh revelation from the throne room of God. We are a prophetic ministry and we hear from God and run part time. And so this is a mystery that is revealing to us. So it's taking me time. And so I want to beg of you, at midnight we'll come back. And that's what we'll do the teaching. We'll do an exegesis of the scripture. We will pray. We'll do an exegesis. Then we're just going to do some worship, get into the word and pray. One hour by God's grace. I promise you I won't take your time. One hour by the grace of God. But now let's pray. I already shared the prayer points. And so starting from today till we finish our fast by the grace of God, it will be our 6 a.m. watch, watchman arise. And it will be a midday watch where we quickly pray in the Holy Ghost and we pray the scriptures that we are reading. And then in the evening at 6 p.m., we'll take our communion and pray some more from the scriptures. You know. And then at midnight, we will do the comparative study. And then we'll do our midnight watch and observe our instruction. So midday is when we do our prophetic instruction. I don't know if you notice now we're doing our prophetic instruction at midday. And then at midnight, we'll come back and we'll look at the scriptures. So that's the change in plan, slight change in plan. Please make sure that you intimate your friends, intimate your, your, your family members that you in, invited to this program. And so let's quickly get into prayer because time is running. I want us to begin to give thanks 
to God for the second of this fast. It's not a privilege. It is such a privilege. It's a beautiful thing to fast. It's not a fearful thing. Don't be afraid. I've encouraged people. I said on the first, the first week, we have 30 days. First 10 days, just do till 12 noon. Do the 12 noon. Let your body get adjusted to fasting. Second week, you can move to 3 p.m. We are not going to give you a certificate of completion of this fast. It is for you to know God. It is between you and your father. And then the last week, you can go to 6 p.m. You can do extra fast. You can do seven days, whatever. But what we want to do is we want to get into God's presence. We want to behold his face. We want to catch it. We want to catch him. Many of the prophets of who caught him. I want to catch God. I want you to thank God for the second day of this fast. What a privilege. Say, I'm grateful for the privilege to partake of the mysteries of Jesus Christ. Come on, give me praise. Give me praise. In the book of Revelation, I said, this is the mysteries of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Ah, come on, give me praise. Say, Father, I thank you for the privilege to partake of the mysteries of Jesus Christ. I thank you for the privilege to partake of the mysteries of Jesus Christ. A garden Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for my salvation. Thank you for my salvation. Come on, give him praise. You see, without salvation, you cannot come near him. The Bible said in John chapter 3, verse 3, he said, Except a man be born again, in case you're under the son of mother and you're not born again, and you are calling God Father, you are lying because you, you have to be born again. The Bible says in John 3, 5, he said, Except you are born of water and of the spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Except you are born of water and spirit, you cannot enter. In case you are not born of water and the spirit, better get right with God in the name of Jesus. And the top part of the scripture is in John 3 8. He said, The spirit blows whatever, whatever it is. So if everyone that, whatever it wishes or whatever it listed according to the King version, he said, So is everyone that is born of God. Our Father is spirit. John 4 24 says, Those who will worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He said, Flesh is spirit. Whatever is born of the flesh is the flesh. Your mother gave birth to you, they cannot save you. Your father gave birth to you, answer his name. He cannot save you. But he said, whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. And so is everyone that is born of God. And that is why Jesus Christ told Nicodemus in John 3, 3, you must be born again. Are you born again today? Are you born again today? Give him praise. Give him praise. If you are not born again, why don't you rededicate your life to Christ? Why don't you? I mean, if you are born again and you are baptized, why don't you rededicate your life to Christ? If you are not born again, you never made Jesus Christ your Savior. Why don't you give your life to Christ right now? This is an opportunity two moments. The rest of us keep giving thanks to God for your salvation. Give thanks to God for your salvation. For those who need to be born again, for those who need to rededicate their life to Christ. And when I'm saying born again, I'm not saying mental accent, I'm not saying lip service. I'm talking about a transformed life where you are walking in the precept and the dictates of the word of God, where you repent from your sin and you obey the word of God. He said, this, by this, you, the people will know you are my disciple. You will obey my commandment and you will love one another. That is the proof of being born again. Not being a wishy-washy Christian. I want you to pray this prayer after me. If you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today forgive me my sins have mercy on me cleanse me with your precious blood I repent of my old ways and I start a new beginning today in Jesus mighty name now I know I am born again to serve the living God in Jesus mighty name Amen in Jesus mighty name Amen congratulations welcome to the family of God if you need more information about how to grow and to walk in the precept of God send us an email Nehemiah Truth Nehemiah just like in the Bible at gmail.com and we send you the relevant information you need to grow and be established in the kingdom because this is how you will be you will be established and you will not fail you will not go back i want you to begin to thank god for the gift of life come on give me praise the gift of life your physical life many people want to pay for their life they cannot they cannot afford it many people are on oxygen right now as we speak. Many people are on life support. Many people are in coma. You are alive. Many people stand up and tied up. Their legs tied up. Some of them are tied down in a spot. They cannot move around. But you and I, we have the gift of life. We have the freedom. You have the ability. You have your sanity. You have the ability to call on Him. You have life. Come on, give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Say, Father, I thank you for my salvation. I'm grateful to be numbered among the remnants in this generation. The Bible says in Romans 11.5, that is the thing for this year in Nehemiah through prayer ministry. He says, so too, then, at this present time, they ask to, they ask come to be a remnant, a small believing minority, according to God's gracious choice. He said, according to the calling of grace, the election of grace, you and I have been elected by grace, not that we deserve it. And if the Lord made us to receive what we deserve, hey, you and I are done for. He said, they are not dealt with us according to our transgression. Give me praise, give me praise, give me praise. The Bible said, as the east is far from the west, so the Lord has removed our sin from us. As the north is far from the south, so great is his mercy towards us. Come on, give me praise. He said, it's according to the 
election of grace is according to the election of grace. He says, so there remains a remnant in this generation. You are not at that remnant. They believe in minority. We are a few people. He said, many are called. Few are chosen. Ah, come on, give me praise. Give me praise. Give me praise. Say, Father, I thank you for numbering me among the remnant in this generation. Take all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. You are going to pray and say, Lord, Open the books to me this season. Reveal the deep secret in the prophetic book of Jeremiah and Revelation. Reveal it to me during this fast. Reveal it to me during this fast. Many of us, we've never even opened the book of Jeremiah before. Okay, we are now doing it in the Imam. That's why we are doing it in the morning. So there's no excuse. Join us for what man arrives. And come and read the book of Jeremiah with us. And I believe that the Almighty God will open your eyes. Also, the book of Revelation, we are studying this severally in this ministry. And we are going to be highlighting different things from it. I want you to pray and say, Father, open the books to me. I encourage you to do a personal study in the book of Revelation and Jeremiah. Oh Lord, open the books to me. Reveal the deep secret of the prophetic books of Jeremiah and Revelation to me during this fast. Reveal to me the mystery there. Reveal to me how it pertains to my generation. Reveal to me how it pertains to my family. Reveal to me how it pertains to my work in Christ Jesus. Amen. You are going to pray. I say, Father, mm. Grab me the understanding of the times. Help me to decode the peculiar signs of this end time. Hey, you need to understand. The Bible said that the source of Isaac, they had understanding of time. They knew what Israel ought to do. Their brethren were at their command. You see, when you understand God's plan, you are not afraid. When they say, hey, you will be like, what is going on? That is not what the word of God says. When they say, at the end, I come, they say, no, this is what the scripture says. When people start to run around health as total, you are established in the truth. Why? Because pastor love cast out fear. You are established in the truth. You have understanding of the time. The Bible said in Revelation chapter 13 verse 18 he said here is wisdom. Let the person who has enough insight, who has understanding, calculate the number of the beast for it is the imperfect number of a man and his number is 666. Let me tell you something. You can understand this code because God put it there for us. For you and I to understand. I want you to begin to pray. And say, Father, grant me understanding of the times. <laughs> grant me understanding, especially to decode the peculiar signs of this end time. Let me understand. You see some people, when they begin to do an exegesis of the scripture, they begin to tell you, the scholars, they'll say, oh, Israel, the temple, this one, the timeline, and you'll be wondering, you'll just be lost and say, what's going on? I want you to pray and say, Father, whatever I need to know concerning the end time, show me. Whatever I need to know, however I need to prepare, Father, give me understanding of the time. Give me understanding of the time. Oh Lord, grant me understanding of the time. Help me to decode the peculiar signs of the end time. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11, he said, moreover, the word of the Lord came to me. He said, Jeremiah, what do you see? Hey, hey, I want you to pray and say, Lord, let me to grow in the school of the spirit. Don't you want to see? Some of you dream, you even forget your dream before you wake up. Some of you in the dream is where the solution for your destiny is. Do you know that the dream that Joseph had is what moved him, is what is informed him about his destiny? Do you know that, that the instruction that Samuel had is what set you tone for the rest of his life? Not the encounter his mother had. The encounter that he had in Shiloh in 1 Samuel chapter 3. Do you know that the dream that Daniel interpreted for the king is what set him on the throne? for life. Do you know that the vision that Moses had, the encounter at the burning bush is what, is what, is, is what set today for life. Do you know that Jeremiah's vision is what we are reading today? John's vision is what we are reading in the book of Revelation today. Why don't you ask God to open your eyes? Because it is your birthright to see. Your father says, he says, I've made the mouth. Will I, who made the mouth? Will, not, will I not speak? I want you to pray and say, Father, we to grow in the school of the Spirit. Open my spiritual eyes. Open my spiritual ears. The Bible said in Jeremiah 1, 11, it said the word of the Lord came to me. The word of the Lord must come to you and you must be able to see. He said, see. Hey, hey, he said, what do you see, Jeremiah? And I said, a branch of an almond tree. And then the Lord said to me, you have seen well, you have seen well. You are seen well. Now I'm ready to perform my work. I want you to pray. Until you see, there can be no performance. I want you to pray and say, Father, help me to see clearly. Help me to see clearly. Help me to see. Give me the seeing eyes and the hearing ears. So God, as I fast, as I pray, give me the seeing eyes. Give me the hearing ears. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I got that, I got that. The Lord commanded Jeremiah. He said, you are seen well. Some of you are seen but begging. Some of you are 
seen men walking like trees. Ah, you need to see. Some of you have seen in shadow. Some of you dream, and you need someone to interpret for you. Some of you see vision, you are confused. I want you to pray and say, Father, let me see clearly. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. Open my ears to hear. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Ezekiel chapter 44. He said, and the man said to me, talking about an angel, he said, son of man, look with your eyes, hear with your ears, fix your mind on everything I show you. I want to encourage you on this altar. Please don't be distracted. Many of us are busy buying Christmas things. You better leave Christmas for those who are worshiping Christmas. <laughs> he said, son of man, look with your eyes, hear with your ears, fix your mind on everything I show you. Hey, fix your mind on everything I show you. For you were brought here, so I must show them to you. You came to Neymar to show that God will show you what will happen in 2021 and beyond. He wants to show you secret that pertains to your life. How you will be a change agent. How you will be a key player in the next few weeks, next few months in destiny. How you will be a key player in destiny. Not so that you can be an onlooker. In this ministry, the do it yourself food ministry. You must know God for yourself. You must study the word of God for yourself. You must confess the scripture for yourself. You must fast for yourself. Nobody does fasting contractor here. We don't do fasting contractor. We don't do prayer contractor. If you need prayer, we will pray with you. You will pray. You will learn how to pray. I want you to pray right now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to walk in consecration this season. Help me to pay attention to what is important. Anoint me with fresh fire for the assignments ahead of me. Purify my spiritual faculty. Purify my spiritual faculty in the name of Jesus. Purify my spiritual faculty. the Bible said in Matthew chapter 13 verse 15, he said, for the heart of these people have grown dull. Hey, Father, everywhere my heart has grown dull. Father, ah, how wake me up. Wake me up. Open my eyes. Open Open my ears. He said, Your ears are hard of hearing. So people cannot hear God's voice. You see, God created you so that you can hear his voice. He said, My sheep, they know my voice. When was the last time you heard God's voice? He said, My sheep, they know my voice. He said, The voice of another, they will not hear. He said, Their eyes are closed. Let they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears. Let they should understand with their heart and turn so that I should heal them. But blessed are you, your eyes, they see. Hmm. Jesus Christ was telling his disciples, blessed are you because your ears, they hear. I want you to pray and say, Father, help me to walk in consecration, to refine my spiritual faculty, to refine my eyes, to refine my ear, to refine my heart. Let me receive from you. Hey, that's the bread, that's the bread, that's the Let me tell you something. <laughs> if your heart is in tune with God, everything about God will move you. And you will see yourself crying without understanding why. You will see yourself passionate about somebody's soul. You will see yourself mm, merciful to those who are in need. You will see yourself picking the widow and the orphan. That is the heart that is uh, in tune with God. You will see your heart moved by sin. But if your heart is hardened, you see sin right under your nose, and it doesn't move you, check your heart. Your heart is dull. Hey, your heart is callous and dead. I want you to pray. I say, Father, waking me up. Ah, waking me up. Quicken me. Father, open my eyes to see. Open my ears to hear. Some people's ear needs to be punched. Some people's eyes needs to be washed. See, the Bible says, wash your eyes with eyes out that you may see. Ah, in Jesus' name. Mighty name. Amen. I want us to pray. <laughs> I receive fresh grace to pray and fast. Some of you are too tired, too lazy, too sloppy, too lukewarm. God is lukewarmness with a passion. Go and see all the people who moved things in the Bible. Those who shook their generation. There are people who live a fasted life. I want you to pray. I say, Father, I receive fresh grace to pray and fast. I understand some people have medical problems. Okay, that was where I started from. I had medical problems. I was a moving, I was a moving symptom. A embodiment of sickness and the Lord delivered me. If he delivered me, he can deliver you. The day I stopped taking medication, I put the bag of medication. One of these days, I'll do a Zoom video so I can show you my bag of medication. I put the medication down and I said, Lord, if you are God. If Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is true, how they heal me. If this story is not made up, if act of the apostle is not made up, Father, heal me because you are a healer. Do you know, I started the 21 days fasting that year. And by the end of that fast, I never took another psychotropic medication. That is the God that I serve. The one who sent me on error. The one that sent me on this person special assignment. He can heal you too. I want you to pray. Father, I receive grace to fast. I receive grace to pray. You can fast it too. Before. Who told you you can fast? Do you know that even that excuse that you are giving, you can't fast because of medication, because of ulcer. Do you know if they want to do the, the surgery for that ulcer, they will tell you to fast it. I want you to pray right now. I receive the grace to pray. I receive the grace to fast. I go in my personal study and meditation in the word of God. I separate myself from the noise. The noise of distraction. The noise of this 
this season, a godly bragada, the bragada bragayagata. I separate myself from noise. I separate myself from destruction. I separate myself from the world. A godly bragada bragayagata. Oh, Father, let this fast leave me forever transformed. As I seek your face, let this fast leave me forever transformed. Let me never return to business as usual. Hey, let me never return to business as usual. You see, hmm. The day that Jeremiah heard God's voice in Jeremiah 1, his life never remained the same. Go and check. It never remained the same. He said, see, I put my word in your mouth. He said, what do you see? He began to see that day. Do you know there is a first day? <laughs> there is a first day. Do you know that Ezekiel, the same day, he saw the vision of God, his throne, his mobile throne, descending at the river Kibar, and his life never remained the same. Do you know that Moses saw the burning bush? His life never remained the same. Do you know that in Acts chapter 9, Paul saw Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus? His life never remained the same. Do you know that you can have one encounter today. Say, Father, let this fast leave me forever transformed. We are standing on holy ground. I see angels ministering to people. I see angels touching people. I see angels putting fire in people. And I know that there are angels all around. Let us pray Jesus now. Yes, we are standing. We are standing. We are standing in his presence on holy ground. I want you to pray and say, Father, let this fast forever change me as I seek your face. The Bible said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be filled. Say, satisfy me out from your living stream. Oh, the Bible said, blessed are the people in for they shall see God. Purify me, O God, so I can see you. Purify me so I can see you. God left the gas secretary. May I never return to business as usual. May I never return to business as usual. Let my life be forever changed, Lord. Let my life be forever changed. Let my life be forever changed, O God. I want to see you. I want to see your face. I want to see you, Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, I pray. Let my life be forever changed, O God. How from this past, from this mountain, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to pray and say, Father, may Make me your lampstand. Make me your lampstand, the lampstand of your glory. Let every second of my life bring you glory. Ah, let every second of my life bring you glory. The Bible said that you are the salt of the earth, the light of the salt of the earth. He said, you lose your favor. How can you be sinning? Who's going to salt you? <laughs> he said, if then you are if it is then good for nothing and to be thrown and trampled under foot by men, you will not be trampled down. The reason why many are being trampled down right now is because they have lost their flavor. They have lost their favor. They have lost their edge. They have lost their anointing, their fire. I need you to get back your fire. He said, you are the light of the world. The city set on a hill that cannot be hid. You are put on God's pedestal. He said, no, do they light a lamp and put it on a basket or a bushel, but on a lampstand. Say, Lord, make me your lampstand. He said, so that it's to give light to all those who are in the house. So we are in the darkest moment on the earth right now. And the world needs light. I want you to boom as light. I want you to rise as light. I want you to say, Lord, ah, let me shine with your glory. And not as the kingdom madness in generation. He said, Man, we see your good works and they will glorify your father. Father, let my life, let every second of my life bring you glory. Let every moment that I live here on this side of eternity bring, me, bring you glory. Bring you glory. Let me shine as a lampstand in my generation. Let let me stand as a lamp. Let me shine as a lamp stand in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You can see that I'm trying to run so that we don't spend one hour. Amen. It's so sweet to be in God's presence. I want you to pray. Empower a formidable entire army from this altar. Hey, we need it. God called us to be Nehemiah troop. How many times have you seen 20 people in a troop? How many times have you seen 10 people in a troop? How many times? That's why I know. The Lord called us to raise a formidable army of intercessors, of apostolic watchmen, of prophetic watchmen. I know. And they must rise out of every nook and cranny. If you know any watchman, somebody who lost to pray, and they are feeling lost, they are crying for expression, call them to come and join us on this altar, because the Lord is raising his army. The Lord is raising his army. This is, the, this is, this is that generation that the Lord is looking for, is seeking for. Ah, those who seek him, ah, he's seeking for Ezekiel, he's seeking for Moses, he's seeking for Paul, he's seeking for the Deborah, he's seeking Seeking for the deliverance that we call for the barracks out of the great vine. I want you to pray and say, Father, empower a formidable army from this altar. Make me a fearless soldier of the cross. Help me to take, make righteous choices regardless of the persecution. Strengthen me in the face of adversity. How ah, on this altar raise a formidable army. Raise a formidable army. Raise a formidable army. Oh, in the Imacropeya ministry, raise a formidable army of intercession of apostolic watchmen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to pray for your local assembly. Many people that I come across, they always complain about their church. Many people. I was there once. I was in a church. I'm still in church. <laughs> I'm still in church. And I will not condemn my pastor. 
If I said of me to condemn, I'll pray for them. I want you to pray. Pray for your local assembly. That the lampstand will not be removed. If you look at the rebuke that God did, that Jesus Christ gave to the churches in Revelation chapter 2 and 3, if you read it with understanding, you will weep. I'm telling you, you must not read it like a novel or newspaper. You will weep if you read it with understanding. I've worked many times for the church. God is weeping for the church. The church is laughing. I want you to pray and say, Lord, ah, Lord, let the lampstand of my local assembly not be removed. If the lampstand is removed, that church is finished. Let the lampstand not be removed. It has been removed. Father Lord, replace it. Let your mercy be prevailed. I pray for every member of your family to be renewed in love, whether it's your own family, your spiritual family, your church family, your nuclear family. Say, Father, let my family be renewed in your love. Let my family be renewed in your love. If that's a brother, I get Eliana. Father, Lord, let the lampstand of my local family not be removed. Ah, Father, I pray for my pastor. I pray for the pastoral team. I pray for the leaders of my church. Father, empower my church. Empower my church. Ah, Father, Lord, let a revival start in Jesus' mighty name. Let a revival start, oh God, in my local assembly. Oh, Father, let your fire, oh God, burn in my family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let your communion. We're about to pray. You are going to pray by this communion, renew me by your spirit, give me fresh oil for my lamp mark me as a wise virgin, wise virgin the parable is in Matthew 25 verse 1 to 13 I love you so much, do you know some people will miss the marriage supper of the lamp and they are so called Christians, and some people don't know this, they will miss the marriage supper of the lamp we are going to look at some scriptures later uh, tonight it's going to show us, he said, said blessed are those who receive the invitation for the marriage supper so no everybody I want you to pray. I say by this communion, renew me by your spirit. Give me fresh oil for my lamp. Give me fresh oil. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Ah, give me oil in my lamp. I pray. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Keep me burning. To the brand new day. I want you to pray and say, Lord, give me fresh oil for my lamp. Mark me as a wise virgin in my generation. Set me on fire forever. Set me on fire forever. Cause my light to shine in the darkness of this age. Lord, give me an undeniable encounter with Jesus. Revelation 1 said, this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. John received the revelation. He saw Jesus Christ. Ah, Daniel saw Jesus Christ. Paul saw Jesus Christ. What was wrong with you? You can see Jesus too if you desire. You will see that all these people, they were passionate about Jesus. They were passionate about God. Why don't you pray and say, Lord, give me an encounter, an undeniable encounter. I desire a visitation. Oh, God, the bread that reveal yourself to me personally. Reveal yourself to me personally. Reveal yourself to me. Hey, God, the bread that Sukoto from this communion table, reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal me by your spirit. Mark me as your wise virgin in this generation. Oh, God, the bread that Okabianda Sapaka Give me an undeniable encounter in Jesus' mighty name. And together we take the bread and we eat it in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the same manner, we take the cup and we drink it. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Because we know that our lives have been set on the right path. You have set us on fire. May this fire never go out. May it burn in the morning, in the noon, and at night. Father, we give you praise for the new way you are dealing with us on this altar. We love the watches that we are keeping. Father, we pray for renewed strength. We exchange our weakness for your supernatural strength. You said in your word, have you not known? Have you not heard? That power belongs to the, to the Lord. Power belongs to God. He said, he gives, your word says, you give power to the weak. And to have no, those who have no might to increase strength. You said, we will mount up. Those that wait upon the Lord will mount up with wings as eagles. You said, we will soar in the spirit. Father, I thank you for this soaring. We spread our wings, O oh God, trusting you. Because you are the wind under our wings. And you said, we will run and not grow weary. We will walk and we will not faint. Father, we give you praise because in this spiritual walk, we will not faint. In this race of life, we will not grow weary. Father, we exalt your name.
because we will not miss it. Father, we worship you, we exalt you, we magnify you, we thank you, we bow before your throne, we lift your name on high. Be exalted forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Why don't you open your heart and give thanks to God and say, Father, I thank you for this time in your presence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this time in your presence. Thank you for the privilege to come and pray. Thank you for the privilege to break the bread. Thank you for the privilege to fast. Be that exalted, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, we are meeting at midnight. Make sure you come bring a friend. <laughs> Tell them, come and see what the Lord has done. I want us to share the name of benediction. If you don't know it, repeat after me. I am blessed with the blessing of the Father God Almighty. I am blessed with the blessing of heaven above in Christ Jesus. I am blessed with the blessing of the field. I am blessed with the blessing of the deep within. I am blessed with the blessing of the breast. I am blessed with the blessing of the womb. I am blessed with all spiritual, material, and marital blessings this season. I am blessed when I go out and when I come in. My blessing exceeds that of my ancestors and all those who have gone ahead of me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Bye for now. See you at midnight. Bye-bye.